Good morning. It's another Toolbox Tuesday and it is Tuesday the 16th of May. Oh my goodness. It is another beautiful sunny day in the Comox Valley and it's going to be hot again. Um, welcome. It is uh, episode number 46 and today's topic is asking for what we need. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> so some exciting news first. My Shaw in the Spotlight Explore is out today. Oh my goodness. Um, if you have Shaw um, cable, it's on channel 105. You can go onto my Instagram page and my Facebook page and see the times. Um, if you don't have Shaw, like me, <laughs> um, I'm going to have to track down somebody that has Shaw cable. Um, uh, then uh, you can go, um, uh, it's going to come up on a YouTube channel soon so I can send you the link. So stay tuned for that. So welcome everyone. So today is asking for what we need. Mm. So for all the mothers out there, I hope you had an absolutely wonderful Mother's Day. And if you didn't, that's okay too. This Mother's Day um, had kind of an epiphany. Um, I woke up in the morning um, feeling quite lonely. My husband um, has been working away for two weeks. And my teenage children are not very good at expressing their appreciation for their mother yet. <laughs> and um, yeah, I went into story um, to story that there was I was the only mom out there that wasn't getting breakfast in bed or a nice card given to them. And um, instead, my son was up early at 6.30, bashing around the kitchen and no happy Mother's Day, just being his grumpy, rushy morning self. And I was frustrated. And what I realized is that, hmm, that wasn't really serving me. So I decided that I would reach out to a friend and I expressed my loneliness. And she said, well, let's go to the beach. And I said, okay, let's do it. Let's go to the beach. It's my favorite thing to do. Walk on the beach on a beautiful, lovely, sunny morning. And while I was saying out loud my sadness, I realized that actually, I don't actually have to wait for others to make me happy. Hmm. What? if I could mother myself? What if I could take the pressure off of my family and meet my own needs? You know, what if I learned to take care of myself as good as I took care of everyone else? Because if I don't make myself a priority, I end up being unhappy and then the people around me aren't happy either because I usually go out of my way to make them unhappy unconsciously and sometimes consciously, which isn't my best self and it's the truth. So, you know, this is kind of a new way of thinking, this idea of putting ourselves first. Um, you know, I think in the past, many mothers before us, you know, it was proper um, and polite to make sure that we put everybody else first and, you know, took care of the kids um, and did these things for everybody else. But what if, what if we, we made a new story and what if we put self-care and self-love for ourselves? As a priority you know 
it ends up being a vicious cycle for me because um, when I don't take care of myself, I end up getting um, tired, I end up getting impatient, and it ends up becoming this vicious cycle, and I end up actually making things worse. Um, instead of actually saying, I, I wanna do this, give myself the time to do it, fill my cup, take care of myself, and then I have more, more energy to give to the other people around me. So, yeah, I don't have to wait for others to take care of me. I can take ownership of that myself. And it sort of brings us back full circle to this whole piece around self-responsibility. Hmm. Yeah. So my experience of self-care and self-love is that I stop my self cycle of anger and frustration and disappointment in others and I don't end up projecting myself um, you know and expecting others to know what I need when they can't read my mind and if I don't speak my truth truth and I don't ask for it what I need how do I expect others to know what I need so yeah more energy for myself and more energy and love for myself means that I actually am living a life more full of joy and my life is flowing effortlessly. Honestly, most days I am pinching myself going, how is this just flowing so effortlessly? And it's because I create time and space for myself. Of course, on Mother's Day, I allowed that to go a little derailed, but I, I chose to go to the beach. I chose to do self-care. I chose to stop at Costco and grab myself a whole whack load of plants and plant my planters. And then I chose to reach out my, my girlfriend, Katie, and asked her if she wanted to do a dinner and potluck and she said yes. And then we ended up going down to the beach and having a lovely dinner and I turned it all around because I asked for what I need. I asked for what I wanted to do. So it's super exciting. And this is what we teach the teens in Masterpiece Magic. We teach the teens to ask for what they need. We teach the teens the importance of learning to love themselves. It is so, isn't it important for us as mothers to mirror to our children to love themselves? Because what I know is that kids do as they see. And if I'm modeling self-care and self-love, then they too will love themselves. And then, isn't the world a better place? Mm, so exciting! So we still have two spots left in Masterpiece Magic. All spots are sponsored. We have four kids from Colombia, one kid from Canada, and one teen from... Uh, Botswana. There are two spaces left. Um, if you want to learn more about what Masterpiece Magic is all about, you can watch my show on the spotlight that is coming out this week. I am sending you all so much love. What if we could learn to mother ourselves? Ask for what we need. Mm, so good. Love to you all. Have a fantastic day. See you next Tuesday.